Good morning, Colorado. Welcome to our Friday edition of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Hers, And today, in studio, all the way from Boulder, Colorado, I have Chef Co with Rolling Greens. Welcome. Thank you so much, Larry, for having me today. By yeah. the way, before we anything, <laughs> this guy right here, I don't know whatever he's eating, <laughs> You got to eat it because this guy has got the most energy of any guest we've ever had at this time of the day. Oh my God. So it's got to be your food. It's the food. It's the energy. <laughs> it's the fun. Actually, at my wedding, I have the four F's. It's fun, food, family, and friends. This is what I love to do. What about the booze? Oh no my booze? God. The booze comes in that. But <laughs> what I really like to do with my food is make it fun and easy. And I have a plant-based company. I'm Chef Co. from Rolling Greens. I'm the co-founder and I'm the chef. So my wife's the other co-founder. Sorry, she's not here with us today. But uh, give today, her a shout out. Yeah, Lindsay, I love you. You're the best oh, CEO. On. I couldn't oh. do anything without you. <laughs> this is great. But uh, so these are products. Uh, we're in about 4,000 stores nationwide. You can also go to RollingGreens.com and purchase our new taco pack as well as our frozen items. But today I am making tacos with our new plant-based taco pack. So not only is it the spices, Larry. It is the protein and it replaces one pound of beef. So I'm actually gonna make it right Go here it. as we're talking. It is so easy, I don't even have to do you're, anything. You're, you're making this yep. for, for a skeptic. I am making this for people who eat meat. I'm saying me, I'm yep. skeptical if, if this is skeptic. gonna be good. Yeah, so what you do, you wanna bring two cups of water, one to two tablespoons of olive oil or your favorite oil to boil. And then you're just gonna give it a quick stir. And then you're gonna just let it cook for seven to 10 minutes. All right. So that's so, all I gotta do. I just do so it. That's gonna be start. cooking now? That's gonna be cooking off right now while right. we chat about some of my other products here. Let's, let's go with a little history of you. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. It's so fun, first of all, to get to know you a little bit today, uh, Larry. Because you have an interesting story. Oh, thank you so much. So Rolling Green started in 1979, and my parents actually started Boulder, Colorado's first organic food truck. So what uh, my wife and I did, we were gonna start a restaurant in 2011, and I found out about my family's heritage. So I wanted to- So pay. you didn't know un until you, you had the idea yourself? I literally had no idea. I wasn't even born yet. I was actually- So you, you didn't see like pictures around the house of a food truck or your parents never told stories about it? Not a clue, not a clue, Larry. Okay. So what happened was my wife and I wanted to start a restaurant in 2011, and uh, my mom told me, well, why don't you start up Rolling Greens again and bring and it back. And you were like, what's Rolling Greens? I was like, what's Rolling Greens? Yeah. She's like, your dad used to go sell the food. I'd make all the food. And we had this uh, amazing company and they showed me this little picture. Uh, and I was like, oh my God, this is it. Three weeks later, I designed and built a food truck. I was an architecture major. I actually worked for Frank Lloyd Wright's grandson up wow. in Malibu. So have some really great- That's a good name drop right oh, there. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> the Wright family and I are very good friends and I, wow. I love them. Shout out Frank Lloyd Wright and uh, Eric Lloyd Wright. Okay, cool. Oh <laughs> my God, that's big. That's the first shout out for Frank Lloyd Wright. That's big, show. that's big. Okay, but uh, yeah, so long story short, we started our food truck and catering service 2011 and we were a staple at the Boulder Farmer's Market for four years. I do about a hundred weddings and catering services as well a year. And then we retired our food truck and catering service and we started our packaged product line with our little ancient grain millet tots. This, this is where it started? This is tots. where it started, these tots right here. So and, what they and, are, it's a little play on ancient, it's like a tater top, but made out of the ancient grain millet. And so it's a low glycemic index food, alkalizing grain, and it's a complex carb. So which means it's a complete protein. So, so not so only- So what is a millet? So millet, it actually grows right here in Colorado, guys. It's a little ancient grain and like it's quinoa? Similar, similar to quinoa, yeah. But it's a uh, really light, fluffy, airy, and it looks just like this. So this is actually my favorite flavor. It's like jalapeno cornbread. That's a nice little, uh, the green box is nice Italian flavors. And then this is our other product that we, our second product, and I am so proud of this. This is our crispy cauliflower wings. And this is our teriyaki flavor. The sauce packs come on the side. And these are our traditional sauces from our food truck days. So the green bag, if you get that, it's a spicy green buffalo. It's the only uh, green buffalo sauce that is 70% fresh spinach before it gets all blended up. So it's incredibly healthy, but these are pretty much tempered cauliflower florets and the sauce packs come on the side. All you do is preheat your oven at 425 or 400 convection bake. If you have an air fryer, really great in an air fryer. See that? Yep. So, all right. And so this is almost done, by the way. So look, I haven't touched this since I started talking. So 
We're gonna get this going. Can you and see that Larry, Josh? You're gonna have so. Okay, there we go. Yup. So it's getting there. Woo! Hot pan. I love hot pans. I got. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so. <laughs> so for yeah. what? Do you have two wing flavors? I've got three wings flavors, and I got three uh, top. All right. So flavors. what are we missing? All right. So we're missing the blue box here. It's our original. Okay. It's like a hush puppy or onion ring, and it's just onion, sea salt, and millet. That's our super simplistic, and uh, I love that. That's great with ketchup. Great with marinara. This one I love, honey or agave. You get that really nice cornbread feel. And then with the cauliflower wings, we have our green, which I already talked about. Our teriyaki, which is the teriyaki sauce, comes from Sakai, Japan. And people always ask me, why is my name Chef Ko? And it's Chef Ko because I used to knock people out. I used to be a Japanese kickboxer. Which doesn't seem possible. Used it doesn't to be seem a like the nicest guy That's, in the world. Yeah, yeah. You, like, you yeah, wonder I why I have so, I know. See, I'm so friendly and people used to say, how could you uh, knock people out? I say, well, I knock people out and then knit on my hat. Because I went to a Waldorf school, so I know how to knit, crochet, basket yeah. weave, make <laughs> shoes, all the stuff you use every day. Um, so, no. So, long story short, really love to cook for people. And I was a personal chef in Montecito when I lived out there. And uh, my wife and I had this amazing company. Ten years we just celebrated our we're, ten year. We're missing one flavor still. Oh yeah, sweet mustard. Okay. It's amazing. So it's gonna be like a traditional. Whenever you think of dumping your nug, dunking your nuggets in a like nice honey yeah honey mustard, but it's a vegan. So I use brown sugar, brown mustard, garlic, and salt. That's it. And it's just really nice pungent on the garlic side. And then it follows through and with the everything sweet. you do is vegan. Yeah, so we are a plant based company. Yeah. So, yeah, everyone can enjoy it. And that's what I really love to do is and make people. Everything gluten free? Everything's gluten free as well. I even really. Even the teriyaki? Even wings. the teriyaki. And we have soy in one product, and that's just that because you can't make teriyaki sauce without uh, soy sauce. So, right. But that is from Sakai Japan, really traditional uh, recipe there that uh, my sensei taught me and he passed away about six years ago so I always pay homage to him uh, through the sauce and people love it so it's really nice it's this guy has a sensei who has a sensei dude if you have a sensei you, do? you, you work hard you work hard Josh, yeah. no, I don't think so I love that guys no <laughs> but uh, all right so do you want to try this yeah all right so this is done all right so let me just give it one more stir so I've you know never eaten vegan anything yes because, yes you know, why would I but but I if this is good, you might convert me. All right, so put your fork just right here. I was like, is he gonna feed me with that no, spoon? No, no, just, just put it. That over might be there. cute. Mm-hmm. Okay. Josh, you want this on a close-up? I already had it on one. All right. You're good. All right, so this is millet. No, so so okay. this so these are millet, these are, okay. cauliflower, and then let's talk about this. So this is pea protein, pinto bean. P cumin. P protein, what does that mean? It's P protein. So what it is, it's there is no soy in here. Usually a texturized uh, vegan meat alternative yeah. is made out of soy. Yeah. So soy, as we like all know, tofu. like tofu, exactly. But it's like extruded and dried to give it that texture. So what this is, is actually P protein made 100% in the US. We get it sourced from 100% US made. And then it has pinto beans, cumin, chili powder, garlic, onion, Touch of jalapeno powder. It looks like Please. beef. That tastes like beef. Textures like beef. The flavor is identical. Identical to what I make at home. Thank you. So I go over about 250 to 300 recipes in mathematical cooking in my kitchen before anything ever hits the shelf. Can so I get I, more? Please do. That is such a good, that is a good, good sign. I love that. Oh my God. I'm, get it in there. Get it in there. <laughs> Love Give me your that. website. All right, so guys, please check this out. You can actually get this just on our website, rollinggreens.com. That's one word, one G. And uh, please enjoy. You can get all our frozen items too, but you can just order the taco pack. And it's uh, super fun, easy, as you could see. And these products are available yeah. really in every grocery store pretty much around. We're, we're in about 4,000 grocery stores nationwide. And so here in Colorado, we're in King Supers, Whole Foods. Yeah, you can check us out. Uh, and we have a store locator on our website as well. So yeah, please check us and out. if you eat his products, <laughs> look how happy you'll be. Look how oh fit you'll God. be. Oh my God, yeah, let's do it. Let's Woo. do it. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Thank Thanks you for so coming much, in. Larry, for having us on today. It was just a pleasure to, you know, love I love love cooking uh, for people, especially for the first time. So awesome. thank you guys so much for having me. We'll see you today at 1130. Uh, we have Lost Cajun coming in, some etouffee. Nice. Let's eat. Cheers. <laughs> That's ridiculously good. <laughs>